Whoop up, y'all. We're back with Days Gone. Um, yeah. We have, we have a couple jobs to do. We can talk to Bozeman. And also, uh, get the fucking Lynch Man. You know, fuck Lynch Man. Yeah, let's get right fucking into it. Twisties and turnsies. Hey, oh, boom. man, what's good? Man with the boom. brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but, uh, I could use a hand. <laughs> uh, you lay down. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You can't have oh, visitors that just yet, but, uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? <laughs> Very funny, William. Lay down. I'm trying to slam my <laughs> knee, but I can I can play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like. <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I got to go take care Deacon, of some shit. Like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Loser doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Whatever the fucks. Keep shutting the door on my face. I see how it is, Eddie. I see how it is. Pooh's man shock. <laughs> Seems like he's uh, getting better. Let's go get the lynch man. Good to see you, dude. How's it going, Buzz? Uh, okay, that actually a lot of didn't come shit, out yeah? right. Sure. All right. Stop by any time. Okay, no, that's that's bounty. Oh, oh Lord, I'm drifting. Good to hey, see yo, what's, you. What's good, Blair? Nice to see you too. I got all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Show me the goods, girl. Yep. Okay. Okay then. All right, let's go get Lynch Main. Hey, come around more often. Oh, you know I, I will, you. girl. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. my day a lot more complicated but f okay fine I'll chase him down Deacon out all right where you're mine now oh shit there he is 
Let's go get him. Now with you say, John! That witch man, come on! Oh, no, you're not gonna get away! Uh, hey! Oh, no. <laughs> Run you over for good measure. Can't fucking escape from me, Lynch man. You little bitch. Whew, how's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 hey listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds. Maybe we'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Seats for the spring. Iron mics. Hey, Ricky, here. I got him. And I'll uh, uh, send you his position. By. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? Wait, no, no, I didn't see him. All right. All right we'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. See you, Lynch man. Today, man. Addie said she'd heard enough of my whining to last her a lifetime. <laughs> Sounds like Good. Addie. How's Don't the arm? Die, please. You know, yeah. about fifty percent there. <laughs> Sorry, a little amputee humor there. But seriously though, it's like I can still feel my right hand. You know? Yeah, I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, yeah that's what Addie said. It fucking sucks. I feel pain in my finger joints. You know, like after a long ride, your hand gets gummed up. Flex it and anyway, I I gotta get going. This has got me on farm duty. I'm gonna see if I can uh, pay off these damn pain meds that Addy has me on. Later. Later. Oh, free bombs I got. Fucking gold. Got a jam for you. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Buy something? Hey, Buzz. Hey, Bowles. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Okay. I'm here if you need me, man. Deke, a got, group of man. men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. yeah fuck you, There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. 
Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do, here. Hey, 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 Schizo, he can't come with you, he's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike, I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me, all right? Like I said, like I said I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. <laughs> you coming? Yeah, no. Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than Schizo's. Come on, I'll show Schizo you. Schizo can go fuck himself. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes. Never said it would stop him. Maybe slow him down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? Stuffy no. Damn, I must have COVID or some shit. Yeah. <clears throat> See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Uh, yeah, with mine. That's what I thought. What you thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it's shut down. Oh, no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can run. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no. We're doing this my way. My way or the highway? Shit. Fine. Okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary, would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. Well. From the look on your face, you... I would have taken you outside oh. first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. Wow, well, real courteous of you. Can't repair my bike. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? A lot Telling of things, you? actually. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, I'm at Valley Whoa. with floor zone. Watch out. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. 
Seemed like, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So yeah, where did you and I and Mike go the other day? Nice guy. Wait, you said Talks that he already told home. you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike He's a long really time. To be honest, society. I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is. But we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves to keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I, Jesus? You just wanted out of our duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky, nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no. No, nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Somebody that I used to know. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up to keep the hordes from coming in. Uh, hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Following you. <coughs> I hit the pee -pee. There they are. They are the babies. Come here, touch this. <coughs> Come on. Hmm. She said. Okay. Literally. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad? Brothers? No. Come on. Oh. Over here. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait. Oh, oh. Oh, wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? 
We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand oh, and my. watch. Oh, I'll watch, all right. Okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeet. What a splash. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Mm -hmm. Run back down to the turbine. To, to see if it's vibrating at all. Oh, my. You're a Nazi <laughs> girl, Ricky. You're a Nazi girl. Nothing. Wait a second. My satchel was spazzing up there. Yeah. Ha <laughs> You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. These are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? He's a peeping Tom? I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Eddie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use his cabin. Here, boost me up. Even more of a reason to fucking fizzle. Okay. okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. It's <laughs> gonna smell like shit. Oh god, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. <sighs> Stay close. Molotovs you got with you. Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Yeah. Light her up. Got it. Ready? Light her up. Ready? Yeet. Oh, yeah. You 
good? Yeah. Holding they really the don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. And the Lord said, <sighs> let there be light. Yes. Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh, you never mentioned them before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's, uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky, Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. But, no, hey, hey! Hey, girl. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <laughs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. <sighs> God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? Fuck yeah, we have been riding together now. for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> do you come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night. And I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Both Boozer mine. was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Get low. Get on the back. Find them. Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has Red a treaty. Out. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Those are kind of far from home, aren't you? What are you doing up here? No, no, no. Put the dragon's passes back to Iron for you. Find the shithole you crawled out from. Iron Mike has a treaty, goddammit. Listen to me. We're from Lost Lake. Peek we your head out, bitch. Peek your head out, bitch. Leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? You can all just go straight to hell! Oh, yeah, nice and moved. Huh? Wait. 
think it's the last of them. Oh, Jesus. Maybe you're right. I've seen rippers before, but not like that. What the hell are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Oh, they I think so the Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. The freakers, the pounders. Okay, we have to follow the line south. Check the transformers. Make sure they're all good. Okay, I'm following you. Could I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. We got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were... You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way. And they were in flatbed trucks, decked out with CU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff, right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, uh... Do farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack, and uh, he ran the club. The uh, well, the press—that's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack. I remember Boozer talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and and he ended up taking the rap for the club. going on here. Oh shit. Uh, shit. There had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and we'll finish it up then. There'll be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Nope. Okay. But I want to show you something first. Well, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might freaks. not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, yeah, like I, I said you. before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut? That's who I am. 
I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Well? Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before, and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in these old machine buildings, and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? <laughs> nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that Transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? Marital disputes, am I right? You're wildin', bro. I used to be a cop. All right, what's next? Yeah, well, I think we had it pretty good with training, equipment, and all. Not bad, yeah, that's a day I'm never getting back. Oh, hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, it's too bad, huh? Schizo. Schizo. Hey, Speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. <laughs> Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. I don't know. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? No. Uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain to get his bike. Long way to go on foot. Let's figure something out. Are you, are you gonna cover for me or what?
Yeah, me. We know. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you, there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. Come here. I got too close. I was gonna call. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white space suit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to take your ass shot the off. Fuck off. You're uh, over there. Come, you want to start out of Wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people use 
Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? Thought I heard something. O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and no, I didn't catch your name. Why don't you give him to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike and out. the breaker wins. Yeah, not bad. Force of nature, right there. Well, what are the free meat. It's free meat. Can't argue with that. Do we have time? Yes, we do. Let's head up to O'Leary Mountain. Interruption, we return. Well, head to O'Leary Mountain. I can't fast travel because the infestation is sown here. Which I'll probably clear up next episode. We're about to figure sometimes, you know? Bye. Oh, hey, Adik, hold on. Hey, Adik. Hell no. Good thing I got that. Next level. Oh shit! Now we good. We good. No. Bruce, are you there? Yeah. How you doing, brother? Same as always. Ah! <laughs> Same as always. Still out there chasing choppers? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems that she had heroes out here when they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by. Said I'd be shoveling shit all day. 
Oscars are to eat shit. Yeah, I'll pass that along. Later. driving reckless things today. Charge him! Shit, gotta move! Huh? Who the fuck you charging? Huh? Well, fuck, it ain't me. Something under this. It's got us some supplies out in this bitch. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh. Wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. Ah, shit. Let's go. Alrighty. Well, let's go and conclude this episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, all that good shit. I'll see y'all in the next episode.